Uh, my name is Paula, and uh, if you've never watched me before, I do cooking videos. I just share. It's just a hobby. Um, I'm not recreating the wheel. <laughs> uh, so um, I just like to share my recipes. I have some real good ones, and they're simple and budget friendly. And I'm also on YouTube under Cooking with Paula Darlene. And uh, I just like to share my videos for inspiration, maybe just some ideas somebody has or needs for cooking or just, just want to watch. My animals are being rambunctious. They can't go outside due to the rain. So, um, all right, so I'm just going to begin. Today I'm going to be making uh, chicken and dumplings homemade. And um, we're going to start with two chicken breasts. I have about, I'm doing a small batch, so I'm going to do about two or three cans of biscuits and I've already rolled some up. And I'm just using just a generic brand, it doesn't have anything, these are butter, butter milk biscuits, so I'm not making anything, I mean, it's not anything homemade or anything, but you're welcome to make homemade biscuits if you want. Then I have Parmesan cheese, I have chicken bouillon, you can use chicken broth if you want, um, about a can full, basil, garlic, salt, and just regular sliced cheese. Alright, let's begin. Okay, I'm just cooking for me and my husband, so I'm not trying to make a like a five gallon thing of dumplings, but so um, I've already cooked my chicken and I've already boiled it, got that chicken away. Now I, I don't like to use the same broth I use my chicken that I cook in. Um, some people do, that's fine. But for me, um, it just, it's not something I like to do. So I've already pre-boiled it, cooked it, and it's just two chicken breasts. And I've already cooked it down, as you can see, and I've chopped it up. Now I'm gonna help it out and give it a little bit of flavor. So I am going to add, you're welcome to add chicken bouillon broth, but I prefer to use the chicken bouillon uh, that's already granule. And I'm going to add about, probably about two tablespoons per taste, so it depends on once it boils and heats up, how it's going to taste. I'm going to help it out with a little bit of flavor. Everybody makes theirs different, and it's always about what how you want it to taste. So, Alright, so when I'm doing that, I'm going to add some garlic. That's about a tablespoon or so. And I just use granule, I don't use salt. And then my secret for seasoning, and it's gonna sound strange, is I use just about a pinch or two of basil. And it's just dry basil, I just throw it in there. Very simple. And I, and I have to tell you, the chopped basil works wonderful. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, even though I added the chicken. Boyan, it still needs a little bit of salt. All right, I'm gonna let that heat up for a minute. And remember, you don't want it to overboil, you want it to be just good and hot. Now I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese and I've added the granule. And this is where all my stock comes in. It's gonna start getting a lot of flavor. And this is where I start testing it. Start getting a taste. Turn up just 10. As you can see, it's starting to turn a little bit of a murky look which is fine that's what you're wanting a medium high and i've got to be careful i don't want to scorch the pan i'm going to taste it again in just a minute Okay, 
coffee looks melted. Taste it one more time. As you can see, can you see that? It's got a nice little broth to it. It's very subtle. I'm going to add just a little bit more chicken bouillon to it. about a tablespoon right there. biscuits I use uh, biscuits from a can and I've already got a few already cut up and rolled up and I just use just a basic nothing fancy um, I even use a little Walmart brand just whatever you have on hand and I just rolled some of them up I'm just gonna drop them in we have to remember not to stir and not to play with them because they will dissolve and they will become part of the soup. And I believe in using what you have. I don't believe in going out and having to buy extra stuff. If you got a budget, you gotta stick by. All I do if I'm just if I'm not gonna roll them up, I just take them and I just tear apart. I want to roll them? That's fine. Just remember, the more you play with it, the stickier it gets, and the harder it is for them to become dumplings. And the more dumplings, the more biscuits you add. If you're wanting it thick, you'll stir it to dissolve some of the biscuits, but I usually don't have a problem with a good stock, so I to track down so I don't over boil out. And again, it's just me and my husband, so I'm not making it for the kids. <laughs> or there'd be like four or five biscuit cans. don't stir you just push down so that way you don't lose them okay I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan to this on top because I like the dumplings that have a little bit of that cheesy flavor to it and you can tell they're already starting to cook salt. I don't put a lid on it because I don't want them too fluffy. It's still a little dense. And yes, you will make a mess. <laughs> and I'll turn these down a little bit so they'll cook. It usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes to really get a good dumpling. Because if you turn them off too soon and they're not heated, they will be doughy. And that's it. And they just cook and cook until 
Um, just keep an eye on them. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. So as you can see, I have my roasted zucchini, and I'm going to put it in my bowl. Perfect. Alright. 
Now, I am going to be making chicken tenders. So all I'm going to do is get it out of the bag. Thank you. 